The Blackfoot language, also called Siksika, its denomination in ISO 639-3, English, Siksika, Siksika, syllabics, often anglicized as Siksika, is an Algonquian language spoken by the Blackfoot or Nitsitapi people, who currently live in the northwestern plains of North America. There are four dialects, three of which are spoken in Alberta, Canada, and one of which is spoken in the United States, Siksika Blackfoot, to the southeast of Calgary, Alberta, Kainai Blood, Many Chiefs, spoken in Alberta between Cardston and Lethbridge, Apatosipikani Northern Pigan, to the west of Fort McLeod, and Omskapipikani Southern Pigan, in northwestern Montana. The name Blackfoot probably comes from the blackened soles of the leather shoes that the people wore. There is a distinct difference between Old Blackfoot, also called High Blackfoot, the dialect spoken by many older speakers, and New Blackfoot, also called Modern Blackfoot, the dialect spoken by younger speakers. Among the Algonquian languages, Blackfoot is relatively divergent in phonology and lexicon. The language has a fairly small phoneme inventory, consisting of 11 basic consonants and three basic vowels that have contrastive length counterparts. Blackfoot is a pitch accent language. Blackfoot language has been declining in the number of native speakers and is classified as either a threatened or endangered language. Like the other Algonquian languages, Blackfoot is considered to be a polysynthetic language due to its large morpheme inventory and word internal complexity. A majority of Blackfoot morphemes have a one-to-one -one correspondence between form and meaning, a defining feature of agglutinative languages. However, Blackfoot does display some fusional characteristics as there are morphemes that are polysemous. Both noun and verb stems cannot be used bare but must be inflected. Due to its morphological complexity, Blackfoot has a flexible word order. Topic. Classification. Topic. Blackfoot is a member of the Algonquian language belonging to the Plains branch along with Arapaho, Gros Venter, and Cheyenne. Blackfoot is spoken in northwestern Montana and throughout Alberta, Canada, making it geographically one of the westernmost Algonquian languages. Topic. History Topic. Once, the Blackfoot people were one of a few Native American nations, that inhabited the Great Plains west of the Mississippi River. The people were buffalo hunters, with settlements in the northern United States. Forced to move because of wars with neighboring tribes, the Blackfoot people settled all around the Plains area and up into Canada, eventually concentrating in Montana. Blackfoot hunters would track and hunt game, while the remaining people would gather food, and other necessities for the winter. The northern plains, where the Blackfoot settled, had incredibly harsh winters, and the flat land provided little escape from the winds. The Blackfoot nation thrived, along with many other native groups, until the European settlers arrived in the late 18th century. The settlers brought with them horses and technology, but also disease and weapons. Diseases like smallpox, foreign to the natives, decimated the Blackfoot population in the mid-19th century. Groups of Blackfoot people rebelled against the Europeans like Mountain Chief's tribe. But, in 1870, a tribe of peaceful Blackfoot were mistaken for the rebellious tribe and hundreds were slaughtered. Over the next 30 years, the settlers had eradicated the buffalo from the Great Plains. This took away the main element of Blackfoot life and took away the people's ability to be self-sustaining. With their main food source gone, the Blackfoot were forced to rely on government support. Topic. Phonology Topic. Topic. Consonants Topic. Blackfoot has 18 consonants, of which all but X, J, and, with form pairs distinguished by length. Topic. Vowels Topic. Topic. Monophthongs Topic. Blackfoot has a vowel system with three monophthongs, IOA. The short monophthongs exhibit allophonic changes as well. The vowels, a, uh, and, o, are raised to, and, respectively when followed by a long consonant. The vowel, i, becomes, in closed syllables. Topic. Diphthongs 
Topic. There are three additional diphthongs in Blackfoot. The first diphthong I is pronounced before a long consonant A or I in the dialect of the Blackfoot Reserve before I or and elsewhere is pronounced A in the Blood Reserve dialect or A in the Blackfoot Reserve dialect. The second diphthong ow is pronounced O before and elsewhere. The third diphthong oi may be pronounced Y before a long consonant and as oi elsewhere. Topic. Length. Topic. Length is contrastive in Blackfoot for both vowels and consonants. Vowel length refers to the duration of a vowel and not a change in quality. The vowel, u, is therefore the same sound as, o, only differing in the length of time over which it is produced. Consonants can also be lengthened with the exception of, x, j, and, with. Topic. Pitch accent. Topic. Blackfoot is a pitch accent language and it is a contrastive feature in the language. Every word will have at least one high-pitched vowel or diphthong but may have more than one. Note that high pitch here is used relative to the contiguous syllables. Blackfoot utterances experience a gradual drop in pitch therefore if an utterance contains a set of accented vowels the first will be higher in pitch than the second but the second will be higher in pitch than the syllables directly surrounding it. Pitch is illustrated in the Latin-based orthography with an acute accent. Topic. Phonological rules Topic. Blackfoot is rich with morphophonological changes. Below is a limited sample of phonological rules. Topic. Semi-vowel loss Topic. Glides are deleted after another consonant, except a glottal stop, or word initially but kept in other conditions. Topic. Accent spread Topic. Accent will spread from an accented vowel to the following vowel across morpheme boundaries. Topic. Vowel devoicing Topic. At the end of a word, non-high-pitched vowels are devoiced, regardless of length. Topic. Grammar, general Topic. Topic. Lexical categories Topic. Lexical categories in Blackfoot are a matter of debate in the literature, with the exception of nouns and verbs. Additional proposed categories, proposed by Uhlenbeck, are adjectives, pronouns, adverbs, and particles. Taylor classifies the Blackfoot language as having two major classes, substantives nouns and, pronouns and verbs, with one minor class consisting of particles. France classifies adjectives and adverbs as affixes but not independent classes. Topic. Agreement Topic. Agreement morphology is extensive in Blackfoot and agreement morphemes are often polysemous, i.e. anime C and number nouns or person and number verbs are indicated within the same affix. Topic. Anime C Topic. All nouns are required to be inflected for anime C and are classified as either animate or inanimate. Verbs are inflected to match the animacy of its arguments. Animacy in Blackfoot is a grammatical construct for noun classification. Therefore, some semantically inherently inanimate objects, such as drums and knives are grammatically animate. Verbs are marked with a transitivity marker which must agree with the animacy of its arguments. Even in stories in which a grammatically inanimate object are markedly anthropomorphized, such as talking flowers, speakers will not use animate agreement markers with them. Topic. Number Topic. All nouns are required to be inflected as either singular or plural. Verbal inflection matches the plurality of its arguments. Topic. Person marking Topic. Blackfoot has five grammatical persons, first, second, third, proximate, fourth, obviative, and fifth, subobviative. 
Topic. Word order Topic. Word order is flexible in Blackfoot. Subjects are not required to precede the verb. Independent noun phrases may be included but these are typically dropped in Blackfoot due to the extensive person inflection on the verb they aren't necessary to interpret the meaning of the utterance. However, if first or second person pronouns are present it yields an emphatic reading. There is an ordering restriction if the distinct third person DTP attached pronoun aawa is used in which the subject independent noun phrase must occur before the verb. If the independent noun phrase occurs after the verb then the DTP may not be used. Topic. Subjecthood Topic. Blackfoot nouns must be grammatically particular in order to be a subject of a verb. In transitive constructions the subject must be volitional to be interpreted as subject. Topic. Person hierarchy. Topic. It has been asserted that Blackfoot, along with other Algonquian languages violates the universal person hierarchy in verb complexes by ranking second person over first person. The hierarchy has traditionally been published as second person greater than first person greater than third person proximate greater than fourth person obviative. However, alternative analyses of Blackfoot person hierarchy has been published that suggest the universal person hierarchy is applicable to Blackfoot. Topic. Verbal structure Topic. The Blackfoot verbal template contains a stem with several prefixes and suffixes. The structure of the verb stem in Blackfoot can be roughly broken down into the pre-verb, the root, the medial, and the final. The root and final are required elements. Generally, information encoded in the pre-verb can include adverbs, most pronouns, locatives, manners, aspect, mood, and tense. Incorporated objects appear in the medial. The final includes transitivity and animacy markers, and valency markers. Topic. Grammar, nouns Topic. Topic. Agreement morphology Topic. Noun classes are split based on grammatical gender into two categories, animate and inanimate. Additionally, all nouns must be marked for plurality. Plurality agreement are suffixes that attach to noun stems and take four forms, as shown in the table below. Topic. Proximate and obviative Topic. When a sentence contains two or more particular animate gender nouns as arguments proximate major third person third and obviative minor third person fourth markings are used to disambiguate. There may only be one proximate argument in any given sentence but multiple obviates are permissible. Proximate arguments are more prominent in discourse. Redirectional markers, referred to as inverse and direct theme in the literature, can be applied to indicate that the fourth person is the subject argument. Topic. Particularity, referentiality Topic. Blackfoot nouns must be grammatically particular, according to France 2009, in order to be a subject of a verb. To be the subject of any verb in Blackfoot the noun must point to a specific referent in the world. In transitive constructions the subject must also be volitional to be interpreted as subject. If subject of a transitive verb is non-specific or non-volitional then verb must be inflected as having an unspecified subject. Topic. Grammar, verbs Topic. Topic. Verbal morphology template Topic. There are four verb categories in Blackfoot, intransitive inanimate, intransitive animate, transitive inanimate, and transitive animate. The parameters of transitivity and animacy for verb selection are typically referred to as stem agreement in order to delineate it from person agreement. 
The animacy for intransitive verbs is determined by the subject of the verb, whereas the transitive verbs are defined by the animacy of their primary object. The only required component of a clause in Blackfoot is the verb, referred to as a verbal complex in the Algonquian literature, that must be appropriately inflected according to the standard template. Proverb, root, medial, final. Proverbs are prefixes which encode adverbs, most pronouns, locatives, manners, aspect, mood, and tense. Medials are suffixes which primarily encode manner and incorporated objects. Finals are suffixes which encode transitivity, animacy, and valency. Roots and finals are always required in a verbal complex whereas proverb and medials are not. Topic. Inverse and direct theme Topic. When there are two animate arguments acting in a transitive animate verb stem one of the arguments must be acting on the other. Which argument is the actor subject and which is the acted upon object is indicated by the use of direct or inverse theme marking. If a subject argument is higher than the object argument on the person hierarchy then the direct suffix is used. Conversely, when an object outranks the sentence's subject then the inverse suffix is used. Topic. Voice and valency Topic. Blackfoot voice alterations occur as suffixes on the verb and fall into the category of finals. Finals can include causative, benefactive, reciprocal, and reflexive affixes that either decrease or increase the valency of the stem they are attached to. Below is an example of the reflexive final suffix. It can only be added to a transitive animate stem and results in an animate intransitive stem. This is then interpreted as being a reflexive verb, where the subject of the AI stem is understood to be the both the underlying subject and object of the original verb stem. Topic. Relative clauses Topic. Relative clauses are rare in Blackfoot but they do occur. In order to embed a clause you first need to nominalize the clause. The reclassification strategy for nominalization is displayed here followed by a relative clause that uses a nominal formed by this strategy. Reclassification is done by adding nominal inflection to the verb stem instead of person inflection. This derived form then refers to the underlying subject and agrees in both number and animacy. Examples below show how a reclassification nominalized clause is used in a relative clause. Note the nominal agreement morphology on the verb matches the subject, singular and plural, respectively. Topic. Orthography Topic. Topic. Latin-based orthography Topic. The Siksika, Kainai, and Apato Sipakani reserves adopted a standardized Roman based orthography in 1975. The Blackfoot alphabet consists of 13 letters. Vowels can be marked with an acute accent or underlined to illustrate pitch accent. Vowels and consonants that are long are written with a double letter. A equals a smiley face. Topic. Syllabic writing system Topic. A syllabic script, Piconicana Siksika, was created by Anglican missionary John William Timms around 1888. Although conceptually nearly identical to Western Cree syllabics, the letter forms are innovative. Two series S, y, were taken from Cree but given different vowel values, three more P, T, M, were changed in consonant values as well, according to the Latin letter they resembled, and the others K, N, w, were created from asymmetrical parts of Latin and Greek letters, or in the case of the zero consonant, possibly from the musical notation for quarter note. The Latin orientation of the letters is used for the E series, after the names of the Latin letters, Pe, Te, etc. The direction for each vowel is different from Cree, reflecting Latin alphabetic order. The E orientation is used for the diphthong, I. Symbols for consonants are taken from the consonant symbol minus the stem, except for diphthongs, CA plus, for cow, and CA plus, for COI, though there are also cases of writing subphonemic I, A, E, U with these finals. There are additional finals, allophones, H, and, X, and three medials, KSA, TSA, KIA. KWA is used for a period. 
Also sometimes it is written in Latin letters but with different spelling on computers because not all computers support the letters used in the Blackfoot language. Revitalization efforts in the late 1900s, many tribes began a surge of revitalization efforts to encourage cultural awareness of indigenous customs and traditions. Of these, the Blackfoot revitalization effort has proven to be quite successful, producing various institutions, including a college dedicated to preserving and promoting Blackfoot traditions. Today, there are Head Start programs in primary and secondary schools on the reservation to teach even infants and toddlers about the history of the tribe from an early age. Topic. The Pegan Institute Topic. In 1987, Dorothy Still Smoking and Daryl Robes Kipp founded the Pegan Institute, a private 501c3 nonprofit foundation in Montana dedicated to researching, promoting, and preserving the Native American languages, particularly the Blackfoot language. Pegan Institute founded Nizipawasan also Nizi Pu Wasin or Neat Sipawasan or Cutswood School in 1995 as a Blackfoot language K-8 immersion school. Since its inception the school has grown and relocated to the center of Browning, Montana in a custom-built school house. Recently, some of the school's first graduates have returned to teach the newest generation the Blackfeet language. Topic. Blackfoot Community College. Topic. Blackfoot Community College BCC, founded in 1974, is a two-year, nationally accredited college that was made possible by the Indian Education Act of 1972 and the 1964 Act enacted by the Office of Economic Opportunity. BCC is a member of both the American Indian Higher Education Consortium and the American Indian Science and Engineering Society AISES. It allows teenagers and adults alike to take classes in a wide range of subjects, from classes in psychology and digital photography to classes on Blackfoot language and tradition. They have beginning Blackfoot language classes with labs for members and non-members of the community to learn the language. Topic. Chief Mountain Technologies Topic. In order to create jobs for the Blackfoot people with real-world applications, the Blackfeet Tribal Business Council launched a company called Chief Mountain Technologies in 2009. This company gives tribal members the opportunity to work in the fields of computer science and business in Browning, Montana on behalf of various government organizations. The establishment of this company in the Blackfoot community allows the people to use their culture and their language in the modern world while maintaining their traditions. Topic. Radio programming in Blackfoot Topic. Radio station KBWG in Browning, Montana, broadcasts a one-hour show for Blackfoot language learners four times a week. The Voice of Browning, Thunder Radio, FM 107.5, or Kassist Sikkim Aikinen, literally, Voice from Nowhere, went live in 2010, and focuses on positive programming. In 2011, John Davis, a 21-year-old Blackfeet Community College student explained, I was the first Blackfeet to ever talk on this radio. Davis said, This is my coup story. A story in the Great Falls Tribune noted, When the station was replaying programming that originated elsewhere, the radio was all tear in my beer and your cheat in heart, they called it the suicide station for its depressing old country themes. The station S offerings have now expanded beyond country to include ACDC and Marvin Gaye, and on the air jokes they would never hear on a clear channel radio station, such as The Captain is as cool as commodity cheese. So far we have broadcasting Monday through Friday from around 6.30, Indian Time, quipped station manager Lona Burns, to around 11, Indian Time. It's Indian Radio. Agreed running crane. Quote, Where else can you hear today's hits with traditional music? Topic. Canadian government support Topic. The Canadian government has provided support for the languages through funds and other financial resources. 
According to James Moore, the former Minister of Canadian Heritage and Official Languages, "...the Government of Canada is committed to the revitalization and preservation of Aboriginal languages." The funding was put to use in the form of digital libraries containing interviews with native speakers, online courses, and various other resources in the hopes of promoting Blackfoot language and passing it down to subsequent generations. On top of both of these government efforts, the Canadian government has also provided over $40,000 through the Aboriginal Languages Initiative Fund to promote the use of Aboriginal languages in community and family settings. References Bibliography <references> 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 Baldwin, S. J. 1994. Blackfoot Neologisms. International Journal of American Linguistics. 60 69–72. JSTOR 1265481. Berman, H. April 1. Studies in Blackfoot Prehistory. Retrieved February 12, 2016. Bordelin, Leah and Sean McLennan. A Phonetic Analysis of Blackfoot. MS, University of Calgary, 1995. Denzer King, R. N. D. Google Books. Retrieved February 12, 2016. Derek, D. N. D. Syllabification and Blackfoot. Retrieved February 10, 2016, from http colon slash slash www.ece.ubc.ca slash tilde donald slash publications slash proceedings underscore nwlc 22 underscore donald underscore der rick dot pdf France, Donald G. and Norma Jean Russell. Blackfoot Dictionary of Stems, Roots, and Affixes, Toronto, University of Toronto Press, 1989. ISBN 0-8020-2691-5 Second edition published 1995, ISBN 0-8020-0767-8 France, Donald G. 1997-1991. Blackfoot Grammar. Toronto, University of Toronto Press. ISBN 0-8020-7978-4 Jick, B., Bliss, H., Michelson, K., Radanov, B. Articulation without acoustics, soundless vowels in Oneida and Blackfoot. Journal of Phonetics, 40 to 46 minus 53. Doi 101016 slash j.1.2011.09.002. Bliss, Jake. 1998. The adverbial and prepositional prefixes in Blackfoot. Dissertation. Leiden, 1921. Hanks, 1954. A Psychological Exploration in the Blackfoot Language. International Journal of American Linguistics. 23, 195-205. doi, 10.1086, 464277. JSTOR 1263343. Kip, Darrell, Joe Fisher, Director, 1991. Transitions, Destruction of a Mother Tongue. Native Voices Public Television Workshop. Archived from the original on 4 January 2013. Retrieved 3 December 2012. Mithin, Marianne The Languages of Native North America. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0-521-29875-X. Miyashita, M. Five Blackfoot Lullabies. Proceedings of the American Philosophical Society, 155, 3, 276 293. JSTOR 23208685. Eulenbeck, C.C. A Concise Blackfoot Grammar Based on Material from the Southern Pagans, New York, AMS, 1978. Originally published 1938 by Hollandsche Uitbevers Machapige, Amsterdam, in series Verhandelingen der Koninklijke Akademie van Wetenschappen te Amsterdam, Afdeling Letterkunde. Nieuw Rieks, Deal XLI, ISBN 0 404 15976 1. Eulenbeck, C.C. 
An English Blackfoot Vocabulary, New York, AMS, 1979. Originally published 1930 in series, Verhandelingen der Koninklijke Akademie van Wetenschappen te Amsterdam, AFD. Letterkunde, New Rieks, Deal 29, No. 4. ISBN 0 404 15796 3. Uhlenbeck, C. C. and R. H. van Gulik. A Blackfoot English vocabulary based on material from the Southern Pagans, Amsterdam, Uitgave van de N. V. Nord Hollandsche Uitbevers Jachap I. J., 1934. Verhandelingen der Koninklijke Akademie van Wetenschappen te Amsterdam. Afdeling Letterkunde, New Rieks, Deal 33, No. 2. Uhlenbeck Melchior, Wilhelmina Maria. Montana 1911, A Professor and His Wife Among the Blackfeet, Wilhelmina Maria Uhlenbeck Melchior's Diary and C. C. Uhlenbeck's Original Blackfoot Texts and a New Series of Blackfoot Texts 2005 ed. Calgary, University of Calgary Press. ISBN 9780803218284. Uhlenbeck, Christianus Cornelius, 1912. A new series of Blackfoot texts, from the Southern Pagans Blackfoot Reservation Teton County Montana, Verhandelingen der Koninklijke Akademie van Wetenschappen te Amsterdam, Afdeling Letterkunde, NR 13.1, Amsterdam, Muller, X plus 264 pp. Retrieved from http colon slash slash glottolog.org slash resource slash reference slash id slash 127554 Uhlenbeck, Christianus Cornelius, 1938. A Concise Blackfoot Grammar. Amsterdam, Nord Hollandsche Uitbevers Machapige. Retrieved from http colon slash slash glottolog.org slash resource slash reference slash id slash 100587. Topic. Further reading. Topic. Eichenwald, Alexandra Y. 2007. Typological Distinctions in Word Formation. Language Typology and Syntactic Description, Vol. 3, ed., by T. Schopen, 1-65. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Armaskate, Solvega, 2011. The Destiny of Roots in Blackfoot and Lithuanian. Ph.D. Dissertation, University of British Columbia. Bordelin, Leah and Sean McLennan, 1995. Webpage. Blackfoot. University of Calgary, Alberta. http colon slash 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 professional slash linguistics slash blackfoot.html. Retrieved 16 April 2017. France, Donald G. Webpage. The Blackfoot Language. Lethbridge, Alberta, University of Lethbridge. HTTPS colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two oh one five oh one one oh oh two oh oh five four slash http colon slash slash people dot ulith dot saw slash tilde france slash blkft dot html retrieved the sixteenth of april twenty seventeen France Donald G nineteen ninety nine webpage The Sounds of Blackfoot Lethbridge Alberta University of Lethbridge http colon slash slash people dot ulith dot ca slash tilde france slash bullsounds dot html retrieved the 11th of april 2007 gibson karen b 2003 the blackfeet people of the dark moccasins mankato minnesota bridgestone books isbn 978-0736815659 Hammerstrom, Harold, Robert Forkel, and Martin Haspelmuth, eds. 2017. Glottolog 3.0. Jena, Germany, Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History. http colon slash slash glottolog.org slash resource slash langoid slash id slash 61238. Simons, Gary F. and Charles D. Fennig, eds. 2017. Ethnologue, Languages of the World, 20th edition. Dallas, Texas, SIL International. https colon slash slash www.ethnologue.com slash language slash blog. Topic. External links. Topic. Pegan Institute. Blackfoot Language Group, University of Montana. 
Don Francis Page on the Blackfoot language Blackfoot, English Dictionary, from Asterisk Webster's Online Dictionary, the Rosetta Edition Blackfeet Language at Seokyo Heritage Blackfoot Digital Library.org Tribal Immersion Schools Rescue Language and Culture Teacher on Use of Nintendo for Siksika Instruction OLAC Resources in and about the Siksika Language Stockin, Harry W. G., First Ten Chapters of St. Matthew's Gospel equals Oxitsanixini Matio Toronto, 1888, Peel 1755 http colon slash slash www.endangeredlanguages. com. Profile, 15784, Contributions. <laughs>